Don't go west. It's forbidden. Welcome and be inspired with Dominic. I am a big fan of what you can now call the Horizon games, although I have only played Zero Dawn and not Forbidden West for lack of a console and time. But then I came across this. It's a promotional image, but it's also geometrical, depicting the basic robots from the games in a rather tank ram fashion. Cutting precise angles is not really my forte, but cutting angles is something I can do. So I decided to make some art. Oh, important side note, I leave the voiceover to the cultists for this one, not because I'm lazy or I don't care, especially since it's a lot more work that way, but I feel the need to keep them busy so they don't get up to anything really dangerous. We heard that. And now? You realize that we should be quiet to spite him instead of giving voice to the fact that he has scanned the card, traced it out in open source vector software Inkscape and has now printed it several times to transfer them to, I guess, something. Are you okay? Yes, it just came over me. Yes? But shouldn't we talk about how Dominic has collected different pieces of scrap metal? Why should we? Just because he's interrogating all his thoughts regarding their ability to cut metal and has reduced them to those who actually wield saw blades for steel or non-ferrous metals does not mean that we need to put that into words for him. I just did it again, didn't I? Involuntary voiceover is a thing. A serious affliction, some might say. Are you trying to sweet talk me into paying sick days for doing voiceovers again? Would it work? Sure. We just couldn't afford to pay, though. Thought so. Look, he's... Yes? Cutting metal. Indeed he does. Nice. I don't think you are suffering from involuntary voiceover cultists too. I don't think so either. Holding the pieces in place is a tricky thing, especially with an unwieldy tool like the jigsaw. That is why he switched to using... Pin snips. Please stop me. Why? You're doing great. But I don't want to. I want to make snide remarks about how he's messing up, not celebrating what he does. Ah, a professional. Better. Frankly, it's good to see these. Don't even need a snide remark. I can just enjoy it. You see, involuntary voiceover is not that bad. I still don't want to. I mean, cutting plastic too fast will fuse it right back in place. Ah, oh, why am I explaining his mistakes? It's fine. It's okay. We can help. I love Horizon Zero Dawn. Captivating story, cool characters and awesome world building. And we are not even paid to say that. Because it's the truth. Look, a piece of plywood. Maybe he wants to mark them to it? Yes. And he's gluing veneer onto it so nobody will notice that it's actually plywood. He should be using a vacuum press. Sorry. I have this pain in all my sinews in my body. Don't tell me. You were channeling Aloy again, using part of your body as a bow. 
continue work so well as bowstring. We talked about this. Even though you're ancient, ancient and amorphous, amorphous, you do not get to complain about sinew pain after using your body as a video game prop. Oh, okay. Great. So it's up to me to say that he's trying to channel his scrap reservoir to frame these boards in a horizon fashion, but falls short because he does not have access to a world of free aged scrap. Now you're reaching. It's harder than you think to make something look like specific crap intentionally. And unintentional crap still looks like, well, crap. Epoxy is a good choice for gluing different materials together. Just make sure not to have that much squeeze out. And that's the project. I did want to make some, at least some of the others, if not all of them, but this project took me way longer than I had anticipated, which is something I should anticipate for my projects. What I might do at some point is try a different method to, to make these. Laser cutter. Yes, using a laser cutter would work, especially since I already have those files pretty close to vector graphics. And then I would just cut it out of 3mm plywood and spray paint it to look metallic. I hope you enjoyed this project and I would recommend you check out these games if you're into world building and uh, I'd say dystopian vibes with a, a mother nature uptake, something like that. I hope you also enjoyed the cultist voiceover. It was one of the main reasons why this project took so long because, and that's probably my mistake, I wrote the voiceover first based on what I thought this project would be, then I did the project and tried to fit the voiceover to what the project actually was. Hope you can't tell, but now you know. Thank you for watching. As always, I would appreciate if you shared my videos, uh, talk to other people about how great my channel is, and uh, yeah, uh, that's of course if you think it's great. If you don't think it's great, please, please, Keep your mouth shut. Make sure to leave a comment down below. It helps out a lot these days. And as always, remember to be inspired. Also, remember, rules were made to be bacon. We could seek help for Cultist One. Or oh, enjoy that he has not insulted us all video. Or oh, that, yes.